Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I will be showing you how to um, get all the streaming mods for Beat Saber like Streamcore, Enhanced Twitch Chat, Song Request Manager, those mods um, and how to set them up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Mod Assistant and when you're in Mod Assistant you have to scroll down to stream tools and you want to select song request manager and stream core once you've done that you just want to click install or update and it should download the mods for you so once you've done that you have to get enhanced twitch chat and you can get that from the beat saber modding group discord I'll leave a link in the description for that and you have to go to hashtag PC mods and if you scroll up for a while um, you'll find this um, thing and it has enhanced twitch chat 2.2.zip so you wanna click that and download it and once you've downloaded it you just want to extract it um, so you can use like 7-zip or WinRAR for that and you can just click extract files um, so as you can see I have it down here now you're gonna get this plugins folder you wanna drag this onto your desktop and then you can close that um, okay so after that, you want to go to your desktop, find the plugins folder which you have, and you want to drag it into your Beat Saber folder. So for me, I just have this shortcut here, um, so I can just drag it into there, and I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. But if you don't have like a Beat Saber shortcut on your desktop, you can just hit copy. Find your Beat Saber install, right click, and hit paste. And it should have the same thing, but like I said, I don't need to do that. Um, so now you should have all your mods installed. You can test it in game. And if you want to set it up so that when someone requests a song, it shows their username, then you have to go into your Beat Saber folder. You have to go into User Data, Stream Core, and then Twitch Login Info. And in this um, file here, you can enter your username and generate an OAuth token. I know authorization token. Um, so I'm just going to quickly make a copy of this and remove my info and then I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here I have the file. So as you can see, there's a Twitch channel name, Twitch username, and your o authorization token. So that's just for bots, so um, like things to access your username so in here you just want to type in your twitch channel so mine is purple and you want to do the same thing here unless you have like some other type of channel which you made I think that's like where, where people chat in but if you're, using, if you're using the default one then it should be fine and then down here for the twitch o authorization token you have to open your browser so in your browser you want to type twitch o authorization token generator and here you want to go to twitchapps.com slash tmi um, so I'll go on it here and I'll leave a link to this in the description but you just have to press connect and connect it with your Twitch account and then it'll generate that for you once you get that it should look like um, something like this 
and then have some random stuff. Um, so you just copy it, paste it, and then make sure to leave the OS part in it as well. By authorization. Um, anyway, and then once you've done all of that stuff, it should work. So you want to hit save. Okay, so the last step is um, you have to load up Beat Saber. Um, and once you're in, you have to go to Mod Settings, Enhanced Stream Chat. Um, click on this and just type in your name. So I've already got mine in here. And yeah, you have to hit Apply. Um, and once you've done all of that, it should work. I've got this first person flying controller thing here. But, um, so I'm just going to type something in my chat right now, and it should show up. There we go. And so, same thing with the song request. If I type in a request, it would show up um, in the chat. It'll say the request, and then you can click on Song Request Manager and the song will be here. So you have a couple options. You can view history, which is like the songs which people have already requested in the past. You can blacklist it, that people can't request this song anymore. You can just skip it, and you can play the map. Um, and then it will load up. So yeah, that's it. Um, Thank you so much for watching, I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!